Hey, yo. Last month was, was not a good month, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest. But hey, I wanna talk about this. Let's go. One take. Alright. I saw a news update of a late 17 year old. He turned the curb to the right and died when his demise came from a car crash. It was sad to see such a young son go. His body lay on the road with blood all over the place. There was no trace of the young boy anymore. His parents were crying and dying in sorrow and I was hoping for a better tomorrow. Will there ever be hope? How can I cope? With 2020 filled with misery, this president is corrupted. It's a World War III was starting. Gianni and Kobe just died, so I say RIP when they showed their pictures on TV. And suddenly something came through me. An unstable emotion filled with depression I felt for his family. I sent all my blessings to them, and hopefully they can bounce back from this terrible tragedy. Yo, ignorance is bliss. I understood that exactly when Kendrick was spitting it. When the El Paso, Texas shooting occurred, the man was filled with so much anger when the NB. And when he killed those innocent people, he was happy? Damn. It's kinda crazy, just imagine the fear these families went through. A racist individual performed the shooting. He was targeting Mexicans. The bullets were spraying, people were running, mamas were crying. But me, being a young Mexican teen at the age of 16, put sick to my stomach when the teenage cashier died. He was just 17. Then I realized this is part of our demise. Like Eminem said, we will be care to put the guns away. It's the only way there can be peace so we can slay the beast as destroying our nation. I'll make it my mission to talk to the children. Hopefully they listen. I preach and teach them to stay with their parents and love them. Cause there could be a consequence where you're separated from them and never see them again. Coming home from 8th grade, I remember the Parkland shooting as well. I didn't understand it. I was more concerned with video games. I didn't see the reality that the world was just falling on me. I did feel remorse although, and I never talked about this because I was an introverted child. Damn. This is our demise, and the most truest empty. I'm not seeking attention, no credibility, no money. I'm just addressing the evil that's killing us all. Our downfall is technology. That's the biggest devil. It's all about attention, and we're all hypocrites. I'm not innocent from this. I'm just trying to use this platform to inspire someone else to turn by reality. Yeah. I want my music to be optimistic, full inspirational, understandable, meaningful, and truthful. There's the pessimistic individuals at my school, they're going to drop out and not be successful, I can just see it all. I'm specifically talking about teenage killer, you red face freak, you better stop showing so much negativity, trying to ruin someone's positivity, you hate school and you're fine with these, you fool. You can't spit heat, all the seats are bliss easily, I'd like to see you fire a diss at me since you claim to the statement that you can destroy and deploy a great diss track. Talk is cheap, pussy, show me. Yeah. I spit more venom up in your denim pants I'm getting tired of your idiotic comments So I'm about to pop it Make it hot like hot cross buns Did you are new things, they're not my amusement So come at me Jake If you can contemplate the ether lyrics I spit to your face Because once I'm done with you, there'll be no trace Yeah Just keep your heads up guys Controversy Hard demise I'm out